Hello students, in this question I have slightly modified a question that you probably uh, would have solved this question, right? Uh, this is a slight modification but the slight modification sometimes make uh, our life very ugly. So this is what this question is probably doing to you. Here uh, in, the, in the general case that we have solved, the pipe or the orifice the water coming from this uh, orifice was actually horizontal right in that case you have uh, solved probably for the maximum value of the horizontal range we get that the orifice should be at the midpoint and the maximum range is uh, equal to capital h by 2 but here not only we can change the position of the orifice but we can also change the direction of velocity of the water that is coming out of this uh, uh, this tank right so we are changing both of these two things and we have to determine the value of maximum value of x right so if you haven't uh, given this question a try probably the, uh, you should stop right now and give it a try and then let's see the solution part here so let's come to the solution part here we have to you know vary two things the one that is this uh, this angle of the pipe and one the depth of this orifice from the surface. So let us say that I'm getting the maximum range at some particular value of this depth. Let's call this depth of this, uh, you know, pipe from the surface to be small h, right? So here the depth is small h. So obviously this will become capital H minus small h. And now what I have to do is for maximization of x, I can shoot, uh, the water from uh, this pipe at any given angle but obviously I have to determine the maximum x so I will be uh, uh, constrained to put the pipe in a certain position which gives me the maximum value of x so obviously for that there will be one definite value of angle theta with the horizontal that I should be you know keeping so that we get the maximum x so let us say this particular angle is theta with the horizontal and the water that is coming out from this pipe is uh, with velocity v and that part you can very easily determine the velocity of efflux part there is not going to be any change because of this angle theta because uh, this basically Bernoulli equation is basically energy conservation equation so you'll get the same results and obviously we have taken the approximations that this orifice is very small so for that we'll get the value of v as root 2g h right so this velocity here is given in terms of h and i have to make an angle theta such that it the value of x comes out to be maximum what should i uh, what should i do now uh, this purely becomes a problem of kinematics from here and to solve this problem i let's imagine a hypothetical let's imagine a hypothetical uh, line that is going from this point here to this point here let's imagine there is a line here and let me call this line as a plane so there is a hypothetical plane that i have placed between these two positions and the range on this plane of this water or any projectile is capital r and the angle of this plane with the horizontal is alpha now this value of capital h minus is small as h is fixed we are already you know uh, you have uh, we have already taken uh, some definite value of a small h for which we are actually getting the maximum value of x so we are not going to change the value of h here only thing that is uh, uh, in our control is theta so we have to determine the value of theta for which we get the maximum value of x and if you see in this right angle triangle we are not changing the height and we want to maximize this base so obviously at the same time if the base is the max has the maximum value obviously this hypotenuse will have the maximum value so of course we can just use the results of maximum range uh, in case of a projectile that is going down the incline right and for that case if you remember it the angle theta of the projectile with the horizontal comes out to be 45 minus alpha by 2 and if we put just value uh, this value uh, we get the maximum range as v square by g 1 minus sine alpha right so instead of r max 
this is the r max here in this case so that can be written as height by sin theta so capital h minus h by sin alpha sorry uh, equal to 2h1 minus sin alpha from here we get the value of h and of course now what we have to determine is x right so we can just determine the value of x in terms of only one variable because uh, we have solved the value of small h in terms of alpha and h and we can also get the value of capital x in terms of you know just only one variable that is alpha so how can we do that uh, x equal to capital h minus a small h cot alpha in this right angle triangle here so we can just simplify it and the x comes out to be 2h cos alpha by 1 plus sin alpha of course you can uh, just apply the maximum minima condition on this function here because the value of x is coming out in terms of only one variable alpha and we know that the value of alpha can range only between uh, 0 to 90 degree right so in that case if we are going to differentiate uh, you'll be probably getting a result where uh, dx by d alpha will not come out zero for any value because there is no maxima here this function will uh, come out to be uh, you know decreasing function in this uh, range of alpha so we can also solve this problem uh, in another uh, way uh, the way i have shown you here you can just put the value of cos alpha as cos square alpha by 2 minus sine square alpha by 2 and 1 plus sine alpha can be written as cos alpha by 2 plus sine alpha by 2 whole square right so in that way you will get this uh, here x equal to 2h this much and if you just you know uh, want to separate it out instead of plus 1 here you can write it as minus 1 plus 2 so minus 1 uh, term will separate out and you will get the value of x just like that and you have to determine the maximum value of x and as you can see here this term here is constant so obviously for the maximum value of x this whole term here should be maximum and numerator is constant so you want the minimum value of denominator of course between 0 to 90 degrees of value of alpha the tan alpha will range between 0 to 1 so of course the maximum value of x you will determine when the value of alpha will become 0 right and in that case this whole term will become 2 minus 1 that is 1 into 2h so the minimum oh i have wrote here minimum so that should be maximum uh, these are the kind of things i do very often so anyways so the answer here is coming out to be 2h and the surprising result here is that you will not put this pipe anywhere in between instead you would be putting this pipe just at the bottom most part of the tank and you would be shooting it with the general angle that you know for the maximum range that is 45 degree just look at here the angle should be equal to 45 minus 0 because the alpha is 0 in that case you will be getting the maximum range and that should be equal to 2h